Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. And I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight in Lackawanna County and the arrest of Frank Scavo. The former Old Ford School Director turned himself in to federal investigators where he was charged with illegally entering the Capitol on January 6th. But as you recall, back in January, Scavo told us here on Newswatch 16 that he was nowhere near the Capitol that day. As Newswatch 16's Peggy Lee shows us, he now admits that wasn't true. Frank Scavo of Old Forge left the federal courthouse in Scranton after admitting to federal investigators that he was inside the Capitol building during the riots on January 6. The former Old Forge school director had organized four busloads of people to go down to Washington, D.C. for the Trump rally. Pictures of Scavo inside the Capitol surfaced a week after that stampede on federal property. Here in Old Forge, people were talking about his arrest. Maybe he just followed along, like mob mentality. Mm -hmm. um, I hope it doesn't reflect bad on us because obviously not all of us were, were there. Scavo's attorney, Ernie Priate, said Scavo did not go willingly into the building but was rather pushed inside by the surging crowd. Scavo was charged with four misdemeanors all related to trespassing on restricted grounds, disorderly conduct, and violent entry. We have certain laws and the laws are designed um, to protect all citizens and the rules should apply to everybody. The day after those riots, Scavo reached out to Newswatch 16 where he said he wasn't near the building when that happened. A week later, this picture of Scavo inside surfaced. People we spoke to questioned why Scavo would come to Newswatch 16 knowing he was inside the Capitol. It was dumb if he's sitting here saying he wasn't there, but there's all this proof. He just basically made a flat out lie. Scavo faces a maximum of three years in prison. He was released but cannot travel out of the area without court approval and must check in with the court once a week. Scavo's next hearing is set for next Wednesday in Washington, D.C. Peggy Lee, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.